we have a rod that's given an impulse j we need to find the force with which one half of the rod will act on the other <laughs> in this problem they have also given that rod obtains the momentum p this is a redundant information because we know impulse is change in momentum so j and p will have same value and it's given also this is also 3 newton second this is also 3 newton second so our answer we can write either in terms of j or in terms of p so let's do it with j because that's given first so force with which one half of the rod will act on the other so obviously the rod is going to rotate about its center of mass and as we have done i don't remember probably 600 problems back we saw that the maximum force is at the center and that's what we need to find here what will be this force which is acting at the center because that inward force is turning this part of the rod is giving the acceleration of this part of the rod inside and that same amount of force is giving the acceleration of this part of the rod inside so this interaction force at the center is what we need to find and in this diagram it's going to be more clear so this is the center of mass of the top half m by 2 and this is the center of mass of bottom half so that is also m by 2 and both are rotating with omega about center so they have an acceleration omega square into this distance which is l by 4 so both so i have just taken one of them here so this part has a acceleration omega square l by 4 towards center and that acceleration is obviously being provided by this force f so let's start from there we need to find this force so f is equal to m by 2 into a so m by 2 into a that is omega square l by 4 but we don't know omega so for that we need to balance angular momentum so just like in linear uh, impulse is given that impulse is equal to change in linear momentum so similarly angular impulse is equal to change in angular momentum and angular moment angular impulse is linear impulse at a distance whatever distance it is so j into this distance is angular impulse so angular impulse in our case is j into l by 2 because this distance is l by 2 now of course i don't need to tell that if this j was at some different angle then you have to take that angle because actual impulse will be r vector cross j vector so r vector here will be l by 2 like this so l by 2 cross j will be l by 2 into j in this particular case outside the plane so anyway uh so angular impulse is uh, r cross j which in our case becomes j into l by 2 is equal to change in angular momentum so our assumed omega is also outside the plane so there is no need of any plus or minus here so is equal to i omega so i about center of mass is ml square by 12 so from here we get the value of omega we put that here and we get our answer all right